Hey guys, welcome back. So today is going to be another full face. I got a lot of feedback saying that you guys liked me doing the full face. I kind of shied away sometimes in the past just because I feel like Sometimes when I watch YouTube videos, like I only want to see like, oh, let me see a smoky eye or oh, let me see a, a beat, you know, foundation face. But you guys said you'd like it, so I am listening. And yeah, so actually this happened to me. My nose is so itchy. I have like monster's hair. I can feel it. Anyways, um, what was I saying? Oh God. Oh yeah, so the other night uh, I was going out and I couldn't decide. I wanted to do like a bronzy smoky eye like with browns and stuff and I couldn't decide if I want the dilemmas uh if I wanted to do like a silver with brown because I love silver and brown I think it's so beautiful or like a golden brown and I was like you know what I'm gonna do both why the hell not I think you know it's funny back in the day you know even with like jewelry I find you couldn't mix like silver with gold or gold with rose gold and like now everything is everything goes there's like no rules and I think that's so fabulous and by the way how good is this lip color I am obsessed. I just got this uh, yesterday in the mail. I'm not exactly sure if it's available yet, but I will let you know um, either in the video when I edit it or um, in the comment down below. But this is um, Mile High by Gerard Cosmetics. And the formula is a little bit different, I feel. Uh, or anyways, the smell is different. It smells like really... Oh, I don't know. It's sweet, but it's not like your typical... Like cupcake, there's something else in it, but I don't really know what it is. Um, not great with describing smells, but anyways, yeah, this lipstick is so good. Uh, liquid lipstick. Anyways, <laughs> stay tuned. Bye. Okay, so we're starting with an oldie but goodie. This is Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, and just using our good old hands to blend it all over. Now I'm picking up Eve Pearl HD Foundation in medium, and as you can see, it's a slip pan, so it has a lighter and a darker, so I'm putting the lighter in the center of my face and the darker on the outsides. This kind of gives it an easier way when you blend all of your contour colors just to like really blend effortlessly. We love it. Now I'm picking up Morphe's Toffee Nut Concealer, and I'm just kind of going in a little mini rainbow shape and pushing it up and underneath i love doing underneath the lip because it gives you an instant full pout and we love that oh and i blended that with my e pearl 201 brush it's phenomenal i can't even tell you like just trust it's so good so just blend blend away and make sure you blend towards your um like the outside of your face rather than the inside that way it doesn't get muddy also picking up Morphe's Macchiato Concealer, and I am placing that underneath the eyes, as you can see. We're not going super, super bright with the concealer, just because we really didn't have to, just because we placed that lighter in the center of the face to begin with. And then I took a damp beauty blender all over my face, blended it in. Now picking up RCMA, you guys know this is my new holy grail favorite setting powder. You can pick this up at Friends Beauty and just go ahead and bake. So the bottom of my face, I didn't bake like crazy. I just kind of pushed a little bit into the skin. I don't want it, my skin's been a little bit dry recently, so I didn't want to put so much bake on the bottom part of my face. And then I'm just kind of swishing, swishing, swooping everything away and just blending it a little bit so I have um, kind of like a set face with the, um, the rest of the bake. Now this is Morphe's 9N palette. This is a contour and highlighting palette. I placed that first color, um, the warmer, to warm everything up and then a little bit darker just at the cheekbone. I just ran it down my nose real quick, nothing crazy. And this is Milani's uh, Blossom Time blush in Rose, Blossom Time Rose. And just put that in the apples of your cheek, a little bit on your forehead just to give like a little cohesive look. Slay All Day Makeup Setting Spray by Gerard. Love this stuff and soak my face. Now this is a palette that I had made. Um, this is from House of Beauty. Their highlighters are so stunning. They can kind of be interchangeable with uh, eyeshadows or highlighters and I picked up Glow Morning and Hollywood. I like to put a little bit lighter at the very top um, of your cheekbone. I just primed my eyes before we filmed and now I'm picking up uh, Motives Cosmetics in the Nude Palette. And then I'm just placing this kind of all over as a wash of color and that lighter color just right at um, underneath your brow bone. Now I'm picking up this darker brown and I'm going ahead and just lightly packing it. So you wanna pack the color on first and then blend it because we want it lighter towards the inner corner. And I used my Sigma uh, E25 for this. And then I took a bigger fluffy brush. This is the Sigma E40. 
and then just make sure there's no harsh lines. I went back with the darker color, packed a little bit more on. Now, oh my God, so guys, I always cut my crease with concealer, but I have been loving doing it with this Tarte, uh, what is this? This Tarte Clay Pot in white. It's such a phenomenal base. My AC is going on, so if it's loud, sorry. And oh, these are so cool too. These are by Mehron, they're the metallic powders, and I picked up silver, gold, and bronze. Just put a little bit of Inglot Durline, and as you can see, only on one side of the brush. Now you could do your foundation beforehand, um, and then, I mean, after, and then you wouldn't have any fallout, but if only putting on one side of the brush, you will not get any. Like, such an easy trick, but legit, it works. And then just go ahead and pack it on, blend those two together a little bit, just so they have like a nice sort of shimmery, coppery rainbow effect. And pat, pat, pat. Now I'm picking up LA Splash Liquid Liner, and I'm going to create that wing. Now picking up the darkest brown from the palette, I'm just going to ever so slightly see darken up this corner. I feel like the little touches like this, as you can see, it makes such the biggest difference and it's only such a small amount of color, but it's when it's concentrated and it's placed in the right spot, it makes such a huge impact. I put that on with my Morphe E19. And then I just blended a little bit of the brown underneath my eyeballs, smoked it out, picking up Smashbox X-Rated Mascara and wiggle, wiggle. A little bit on the bottom. Onto the lashes. These are by Vegas Nay in the style Grand Glamour. And I love these lashes, they're so beautiful. And always with my Eve Pearl uh, eyelash glue, it is so good. And now picking up that Gerard Cosmetics, the Mile High Liquid Lipstick. So I checked right before I started editing this and I don't see it yet on the website, but it will probably be up either by the time this video is up or within like a week. That's usually how it works. And yeah, so such a beautiful color and it smells so good. Okay guys, so that is all for today. Uh, there was something I wanted to tell you. Oh, so if you guys don't follow me on Snapchat, by the way, it's Nikki French Kiss. I'm thinking about doing a Q&A like through Snapchat, the ones that you know a lot of people do when you actually send the snap to the person and ask a question. So if you guys wanna see that, let me know in the comments down below and then follow me on Snap and then we'll get something going maybe uh, next week for my new YouTube video. So yeah, if you guys wanna see it, let me know and I'll see you later, bye.